Hello and welcome back to the SciStorm Esports Network. I'm your host, Jacob Man, here for your weekly esports results and highlights. This week we've got a whole slew of regions playing Valorant and League of Legends, not to mention the biggest Street Fighter tournament of the year. So let's get into it. The Valorant Champions Tour got back into it this week with many regions starting their second Challengers round of Stage 3. The system can get a little complicated, but what you need to know is that the winning teams from this Challengers round get a cash prize as well as a seed into the Challengers Playoffs, where the teams compete to get into the next VCT Masters event. Now let's start off with Southeast Asia, which is broken up into five sub-regions and actually has three rounds with 16 teams making it through to the playoffs. Thailand, Indonesia, the Philippines, and Vietnam all get three teams seated in, and the two smaller regions, which are Malaysia, Singapore, as well as Hong Kong, Taiwan, each get two teams. Like I said, it's a complicated system. First love. Might able to take down a couple of kills. Yeah, he finds one, he finds the second one. And he gets away. Oh no, it's all down to the There's no way, there's no way. Fire my freak 2v5. Can they pull this off? Seems like the worst love. He wants to close it out right here, right now. He goes in, he gets taken down, but it's not the mind freak, but no. Cassania takes him down and ooh, ooh, close it out. 3 1. Về khu mid đồ. Và chắc chắn thôi, Layla cũng sẽ phải để tâm đến khu vực này cho dù có một quả smoke của Loki thật đấy. Và nếu như mà muốn chơi an toàn, Loki hoàn toàn có thể smoke à chính xác là kẻ tường ở khu vực quả trái spa này lại và có thể ngồi gỡ. Để xem quyết định sẽ là gì đây, Layla di chuyển rất hay một mạng rồi Và đó là triple kill dành cho Layla As long as your opponent don't reach that 13 You still have chances to push it into overtime Ching though, holding the back of the B side Or A side uh, rather Has to back away first Respecting that he's gonna get caught in the fire If he's not careful about this But Georgie, okay, one after the other And oh no! Oh my god! Their chances of making this happen, they even see the shock dashing dart. into Jenny, and where did that come from? The shock dart! Let's talk about the winners this week, who are now seeded into the playoffs. Full Sense from Thailand, Alter Ego from Indonesia, Galaxy Racer from the Philippines, Cerberus Esports from Vietnam, CBT Gaming from Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Uwu from Malaysia, Singapore. All right, let's move on to the slightly less complicated regions like Japan, where four teams made it through Fennel, Reject, Feeling, and Insomnia. <laughs> Brazil also had four teams making it to the playoffs Stars Horizon. Sharks Esports, Team Vikings, and Game Landers Blue. Brazil has a third Challengers round next week to secure the final four spots. Korea works a little differently than the others as they only have one long round where the top eight teams will get through to the playoffs. Uh, right now they're working through the group stage. Harry inside here is in that up. Uh, he got killed off here by Akame. It's all right, Suggest is coming. It's another one. Up drops back. Oh my god, nice response here by 10x. Yeah. The reaction timing is just so good. That's gonna be it. GG 13 to 2. Latin America is broken into both north and south regions. In the south, Chaos Latin Gamers and 9Z team made it through. The north will finish up this coming week. Uh, more regions will also join these ones in the VCT this coming week. We'll cover those in our next episode. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. Now to another FPS with lots of regional play. Rainbow Six Siege had four regional leagues, which all continue their group stages this week, as well as the Benelux League, which finished theirs, and has secured their top six teams for the playoffs. Meanwhile, in the North American League, the group stage still has a week left, but Space Station Gaming has already secured first place. 
SSG from dropping down as well. It's holding off the tide for now, but will it do so forever? That's the question. And the answer is going to be no. Foltz with another important kill here against Razor. Jarvis now out of utility. No more Toxic Babes to hold back the rest of SSG. Filthy, though, no. finding so many kills, but Bosco able to stop Jarvis. And now Filthy is the lone man on the field here. The Nitro as well as whiffed on that corner of wood paneling. And that's going to seal the... In the European League, it was Team Empire on top of the leaderboard as they played through their last week of groups. Through, but it's suddenly coming through for them. There oh. it is. Shinka is left in a one versus two situation on the back line with a C4 in pocket. Wants to try and take the He's fight across. the cover down the long. Takes that very dip dive oh. there. The oh, no way! Didn't stick it! As Asia Pacific North finished up, it was Cyclops Athlete Gaming in the top spot. They need to find Tex and they will be able to find him as well. It's up to Mag and Mentalist, the last two left. Mentalist with a great kill, with a great take. It's back to just that two on three situation. The shield is down. It's all up to Mag in a 1v3. The plant goes down. 45 seconds, surely he has heard it. Manages to get the cover out. That is going to be the plant that suddenly gets cancelled as well. The shield saves the life there of Mag, but he has no clue where the players are. And it just crouches, it just turtles, because that shield should be providing some cover. And he's walking backwards through all these holes. He's using that ability to the best of its well, potential. As the plant's now going down at 45 seconds, or is he going to be able to stop it in time? No, he's in the other side, and he's not going to be winning it. And in Asia Pacific South, it's Knights taking first place. Seals the fight, Manic. Time ticking down, speak easy, the nail's there. All they've got to do is wait for the hammer to fall. DCH trying his best to stop it, but Invictus do it. They secure themselves a spot in the playoffs. And with that, nearly all of the teams are set for the next six major. Only the Asia Pacific playoffs left to decide the final two teams. Now let's move on to Counter-Strike. It's going to be a quick one this week. There was only one event, the We Play Academy League. Began their online stage round robin which will finish up this coming week. Fire might have survived the mid-fights earlier oh, on, but he doesn't what? last long in A. JDC has got their boys back, and Resol alone asked to clutch 1v4 as that bomb goes down. Oh, dude, it's such a VP Prodigy game. They long it out. They go all the way to round 30, but do they fall at the final hurdle? It seems likely. Resol, he's been good, but this is asking too much from one man. Shots not connected, kills not given, and the Deagle, it does take down one. However, time is not in his favor, and Shane shuts it out. It's going to be the map for Maus and X. We have a couple of slow weeks for CSGO as everyone comes off the high of IEM Cologne. Uh, but the next ESL Pro League season starts soon, so we'll have more in the coming weeks. Moving on now to Overwatch. The contenders had some results this week in a couple of regions. In North America, it was the American Tornado taking first place for the second month in a row. Hope here left for them, and oh, Hope might have gone up the window with Provide taking that fall. He even threw out the Immortality Field by the doorway, too, just in case Dark Mode were going to rotate out of that doorway, but they couldn't even have the chance. You bring that fight into that close quarters with Speedly, and it's just doomed for you. Quite literally doomed. Because, <laughs> you know, right now, you currently have Speedly just punching out Fortnite Fish, and nobody's left from Dark Mode to touch this payload. Yeah, they lost their tracer and they lost the map. American Tornado once again, 4 nothing now. And in Europe, it was Falcons Esport in the top spot. Lemon Lossish spins to win. Fincy and Admiral have thus far distracted. Pile Driver does a bunch of damage. And guess who's doing more? It's Psycho. Gratham returns on the Bastion from the back. It's going to be so much damage to deal with. Oh, Skyripper identifies that they had used Fatal Psycho was able to execute. British Hurricane only have Ricky to heal. They have no heals. Falcons with the Bastion at the back. The comeback, the photon barrier. British Hurricane are gone. The storm is settled and Falcons snatch back their crown. Let's head on over to the Call of Duty League, which finished up their stage five groups this week. Come the thieves. There's one. See how lucky he is if he can get another player out of this one. But here come the reinforcements. Optic now lining up. Oh, but they run into Slasher. They run straight into him. 3v2. It's T2P. The bomb planted now. Here comes the push. Formal makes his way forward. He gets himself one. The attack's still raging though. And again, you can't get any more. And it's a 1v2 now for Scum. Now it's the 1v1. It's Kenny versus Scum. The bomb's still down. Kenny has eyes on the push now. If the play is being made, it's got to happen now. Oh my god. Chance, we're going to hold our breath for a moment. There's a lot of time to work with on the clock, and Kenny is going to post up in a corner. Scum's going to run by. Damage dealt. It's enough to get the kill, though. Scum, back and forth we go. 15 seconds. Kenny 
Holds the line, gets the kill, the reverse sweep completed. Optic Chicago took Group A and Dallas Empire won Group B. The Stage 5 Major starts this coming weekend. Now let's finish up our shooters for the day with a little PUBG. The ESL PUBG Masters Europe Summer is underway. Navi currently on top of that leaderboard. Pushing through, he's gone for a different angle altogether. If he sees him in the smokes, he does. He just catches him up top. Very low on health. Crepta puts face, gets one. Second one, Fex. He's all damaged. Another one's fallen. A one versus one will unfold. Fex has to seal the deal here. Or Honor's going to take it all for him. It's Fex versus Honor. One versus one, the tree and the rock. A rock and a half place for face, giving the information. He's jiggle peeking around oh. the corner. Let's check out our old friend StarCraft 2 now as the GSL semifinals play this week. Okay. I don't know, man. Now the links are going to come in here and kill off the probes. I think now Parting's going to try to shift the action here. He's going to move up, but he's going to have a fight right on, on creep. Oh, the fungal. Oh, my God. The angle in here no. is so good for the Zerk. The fungal's too strong. Everything getting wiped out. This game is over. Parting has lost 0-4. And Dark will go on to face off against Trap in the GSL Finals. GG. Trap and Dark will be throwing hands in the finals this coming week. Speaking of which, Street Fighter V had a ton of action this week as the Intel World Open played through all 11 of its regions. He's going to trap him there. Oh, it wasted. That was unfortunate. Yeah, was that supposed to be a viewer on the cycle blast? Either way, oh, the Zed heavy kick does connect with it. Come on, grab. He's got in the corner. He's not doing the command grab just yet. Busts out with the EX head, but we talked about that. The long term conditioning of it puts the second mirror out, but Hot Dog knew. Jumped out immediately. He's got to chill. And if he's going to throw anything out, it's got to be Psycho Crusher at the tip. Oh, oh it's the trade. Trade. No, with you, the Psycho Crusher. No, it doesn't it. matter. Hot Dog hits the reset. Oh, my goodness. Down 2 0. -oh. It looked like it was going to be as free as any other set in this bracket, but no. The event is partnered with the Tokyo Olympics to showcase some high-level e-athletes, uh, similar to the StarCraft IEM event in Korea in 2018. One more dive kick here if you can get it in time. Check the dash. There it is. Force the block. Oh, he's ready. This could be the end. Wake up, back dash. No, oh, where's the CA? No, no, no. It wasn't going to kill. It was going to lead to Oki. No. But it doesn't matter. You should have taken your shot. Instead, Takedo tramples all over it, reclaims the throne, and gets the Victory Tokido! Moving up to the Sama status lines. BK, BK Sama actually doing a great job keeping Travis in this corner. About, that's fine. B reversal, this is what I'm talking about. Better defense. Now, turns the offense. Tech, EX, trade definitely in his favor with the finesse and bless. Overhead, not punished, but the Batista Bob throw. There you go! BK Sama, aka BK Kami, takes. Oceana, Intel World Open, region final. There were a ton more games than what we have here. Definitely check them out. It's super cool to see esports getting some recognition at the Olympics. All right, now it's time to move on to the MOBAs. Let's start off with some Dota 2, where the I League finally finished up after over four months of play. It's unstoppable for Monet. Hong Kong Monet. Okay, next one's gonna be O11 trying to run away from the boomerang. Falling back to the tree line first. Monet is so low, but he's gonna be fine. He's carrying out ages. He might go now, but he will come back full HP, full mana. Money comes and go, but Monet will always come back. It's a DD call, ladies and gentlemen. Aster is your I League 2021 China champion. Congratulations, Team Aster. What a performance! Team Aster able to take down Vici Gaming in the finals 3-0 to take home the trophy. We also had the Dota 2 Champions League start up this week. Hellbear Smashers currently in first place, but plenty of games left to play. Sides coming in. Duraccio, in the meantime, did not die in that fight. Trying to man fight Lil Pleb, but we talked about the fact that he is really farmed on that Luna, and he is just pumping out damage. Luckily enough, he's out of mana, so he can't spam the Lucen Beam. Duraccio does get the jump back, but Bunterman not going to be so lucky. Actually, Durachu is not going to be so lucky either. He gets taken down. Yamich on the high ground, burst it down, and Lil Pleb, there's still a tier 2 tower. They don't care. Bunterman inside the Shadow Amulet, trying to stay hidden, will be bursted down in an absolutely massive team fight for the side of the spike. Quick and easy week for Dota. Let's check up on Heroes of the Storm, who finished up the Community Clash League. Will the members of Simplicity be able to close out the series here at Grubby? 
It certainly looks like it, Bahamut. Stukov standing way deep. He does another massive shove. Not sure what he was doing there, but he felt this team needs to step up to start doing damage. That was the play. Simplicity is stepping up. They're five versus two. The boss is healthy. The minion wave is here. The hellbats are here. Simplicity has done everything they needed to do to close this game out. They started with a 0-1, but they won four out of five games. This is gonna be it. It's gonna be GG, Bahamut. GG's are called. Simplicity are going to be your season two hero CCL champion. Simplicity taking first place there over Storm Esports, and that leaves us with only one game left for the day. But it is a doozy. League of Legends continued throughout all of its regions this week, and we have 11 different brackets to go through today. Let's jump right into it with the LCS, where 100 Thieves and TSM are tied for first place. It's a 5v4 for CLG. Arrow hits FBI, but he cleanses it oh off, and now God. the Baron is going to be it. Demonte gets it, but can CLG get out safely? Finn is trying to do what he can, but who is low as Broxa kicks it, FBI. That is such a good play. Gives away his life to kill that one, and now Finn is trying to pop off. But FBI gets a kill on the other end of it there as the shotgun comes through for closer. Someday over the top of the ulti trying to make it happen. Smoothie is going to get shredded to pieces. 100 Thieves actually going to get the ball at the end of it. Meanwhile, over in the LCS Academy League, the FlyQuest Academy team is on top. Trying to finish them off now. Will cannot do it. King flashes away, gets away from the bomb. King will survive. Now the rest of Cloud9 Academy are showing up to the fight. Sure and fire, not going to be able to land the queue, but here comes over oh. to Altar. Sean hops and slams down two of Dignitas. Saligo with a slither of health remaining, nice. tries to get away. JJ gets pulled right on in, and sure and fire is done. In the LCK, Nongshim Red Force is sitting in the top spot. Afterwards, he will just be dead, yep. Morgan is going to be out to become Ash also. And Umpty running for the hills. Ash grabbing himself some kills here, as that's a triple for Morgan. And I have a feeling this game may be over. Is it pentakill opportunity? I do not think so. As Delight and Yaharong will just head towards the fountain. The shockwave on cooldown, the solar flare also on cooldown. And Doing Chronicler, it. this game might be over before 45 minutes. And in the LCK Challengers League, the Gen G Challengers team is in first place. In the CB LOL, Pain Gaming has taken the lead from Flamengo Esports. In the LEC, the number one spot belongs to Rogue. Comes out, lock it used, Mickey dives in with the charm and here it's down. And he saved the shockwave for that moment. Caps hits it. Cobby will not quite fall. He'll be the last one standing as Reckless is jumping forward, looking for the kill. Gets the speed up from the Ariana. One auto attack and a satchel ticking, ticking, ticking. And Cobby says a final goodbye. Reckless takes the shutdown. G2 take the fight. And for the 12th time in a row, G2 will lock their spot in playoffs. Over in the PCS, there's an undefeated team on top. PSG Talon is currently 11 and 0. The Nautilus instantly, Arashi still alive, but Don now opening up, oh, and we get a massive oh, three man move fall into the last whisper. That's the Wombo Combo we've been waiting for. The triple kill for Xyliath. Leo break open the face. They break the curse, and they're going for a win. Not letting their loose streak go on to double digits. They're flashing the PSG. They're getting the emotes down. This is time to party. Where were you with Liab, beat for Jaya, and open up Summer Split? In the LPL, it's Edward Gaming on top, although only by a hair for the time. Yeah, he's on top of Abel, but Abel immediately backs away and the Volley Bear already dead. Kepler poking down, but it's not enough. Onto the Baron again. And I'm really not sure what Alias was expecting just going for that, that straight up Ooh, front to back engage. Shockwave on the Kepler, PZX in the back line as well. Lyric, comps coming into fruition, man. V5 lose another Baron. It's OMG who are running for the win. And Cream who's got so much momentum, dodges away, flashes forward. Uniboy blasted again. The LLA also has a very close top two. Rainbow Seven just edging out Infinity for the lead. And it's not just close in the LJL, it's all tied up between Detonation Focus Me and Rascal Jester. And our final result this week comes from the TCL, where Galatasaray Esports is still holding that top spot. We're getting very close to the end of a lot of these group stages, only a week or two left for each of them, and we'll be getting into the playoffs. 
This was a long episode, which just goes to show you how many esports events there are at any given point. And we're really only scratching the surface with these episodes, hitting the big tournaments. All of these communities are constantly putting on smaller tournaments that are always so much fun to watch. And I gotta mention again how cool it is that Street Fighter got an Olympic connected event this year. Uh, the Rocket League we actually covered last week was also a part of that. It's just so validating to see esports connected to such a high level and respected event like the Olympics. <sighs> but enough gushing about esports. This episode is coming to an end. If you enjoyed it, give that like button a smash and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. As always, I am Finn the Chicken Man here for the SciStorm Esports Network and I'll see you next time.